Hello! Today I'm going to show you how you can change your handwritten image into a vector object. First you will need to either scan your image or take a picture of it and save it as a JPEG file. Today I will be working with my calligraphy sample. If you would like to follow along, feel free to download this file. I included a link to it in the description below. Let's open a new document and set the profile to web. Next, we will place our JPEG image into Illustrator. To do that, go to File, select Place, find your image and click Place. Now click in the upper left corner and your image should fit into this document. Next, go to the top toolbar, click on this little arrow next to Image Trace to open the tracing presets. Select black and white logo and your image will be transformed to a vector object. Now we need to smooth some lines, make some corners sharper and do a few more adjustments. First, let's open the Image Trace panel. You can either click on this icon or go to Window and select Image Trace. Now let's experiment with the Threshold slider. Pixels darker than Threshold value are converted to black. I will keep it at around 130, but your artwork might need a higher or lower number. Just experiment with it. Now click on the Advanced Options. The higher the path's value, the tighter the fit. The higher the corner's value, the more corners. A higher noise value means less noise. I want my corners to stand out more and therefore I will set the corner's value to a higher number. I would suggest to experiment with those sliders and see what works best for you. In the next step, we will convert this tracing object into paths. To do that, click the Expand button from the top. Now we need to remove the white background and all the unwanted white areas. You can see it better if you go to View and select Show Transparency Grid or press the Ctrl, Shift and D keys on your keyboard. Next, switch to the Direct Selection tool and click away from the artboard to deselect. Then, click on the background and press the Delete key on your keyboard. And do the same with the other white areas. And now, we are ready to make final touches. We will smooth some edges and make others sharper. Let's zoom in on this part. Press the letter A to switch to the Direct Selection tool and click on this shape to select it. Let's change the color of this layer to red so it's easier to see. Next, select the Smooth tool, which is located under the Pencil tool. Now, click and draw a line wherever you want your edges to be smoothed. This method might work with your project, however in this case there is too many anchor points close to one another. Therefore, we need to delete some of them. To do that, select the Delete Anchor Point tool and click on the anchor points that you want to delete. Now switch to the Direct Selection tool and let's move some of the anchor points and adjust the handles to get a nice smooth edge. I'm going to speed up this video, but you should take as much time as you need to do the best job. You should be very familiar with using the pen tool and how to manipulate the bezier handles. And here is our final work. Now if you like, you can change the color of any of these shapes. 
or add a stroke to it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.